Oh no. I guess this game likes to crash at the beginning. There's like one in five chance that it's gonna crash at the beginning. There we go. I have to make sure that we hit this screen, apparently. <laughs> Before I capture the game. These, um... These monsters are pretty scary. I don't... And... Like, when they ambush you from behind, it's... Not very pleasant. I thought this was a more chill open world uh, survival experience but uh, apparently not you have zombies or marauders and then you have these crazy looking things Open this? No, no, yeah, I did. I don't like that these crates they stay because now like you have to check on them like every time you see them. So there are the animals here, but oh, I can see another guy over there. See, another marauder. So can I start placing animals here, or what's the deal? Good. Can I do this to anything? No. Calm down. 
Oh, there's a goat here, a uh, sheep. It's just walking around there. How do I, um... I guess they will introduce this eventually, but... Like, what, what am I doing with these now? If I drop them, nothing happens. They just, like... You drop them in their ethereal form. There, there's no way for you to... Maybe you just collect them for now, huh? So let's do that. Okay, I love doing this. Because it looks like the animal <laughs> is in mega pain, which is horrible. Look. Okay, Q change arrow, right? Changing it to tranquilizer. Okay. That's, I am using the tranquilizer arrow, right? Okay. Wait, where did he go? Oh, no, 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 honey. No, honey, come here. I'm just trying to save you, honey. Yes. So you're just capturing them for now, I guess, and since there's no um, weight limit... Oh god! Um, yeah. I really thought that this was more of a chill fucking uh... I think they have changed the direction with this game. I don't think they started off with all these alien Cthulhu things and... I guess it wasn't exciting enough? So now they have alien Cthulhu something. Mul multiple dimension... Um, storyline... Or maybe it has always been like that, I don't know. Because I didn't play too much of it. that they're, they're like random bear traps though so you have to be careful if not she's gonna squeal okay I think they want me to uh, travel somewhere as part of the quest so let's just follow the uh, Just follow the quest before we do anything else. Okay, where's that guy? There is a guy here. There he is. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah, how are you gonna come in? Oh! How come I'm the one hurting when I'm the one slashing at him? Strats, bro. I like how he's able to hurt me without actually swinging his axe, though. That's, uh, that's really wild. I got a hatchet. I think it's the same hatchet that I have, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, wait, what? Oh. I mean, should I loot all of these? Probably. Cucumber. Sounds super refreshing. Okay, where are we gonna sleep? Is the question here. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, where are you? Jesus Christ. I'm armed, motherfucker. Don't even try. <laughs> Scare the shit out of me. How is this game scary? I don't understand. It's supposed to be a fucking chill, open world. Okay, I guess we'll sleep over here. We'll sleep inside this cage here. If there's nothing crazy in here, okay. No, close it, close it. Bitch, close it. sit on the thing. X is free placing. So 10 hours. Oh. Ah. Whoa, once you commit, okay, I was gonna say once you commit you can't <laughs> you can't change it. I mean not commit, but once you slide it all the way up, you couldn't slide it back down. Look at all the the uh, windmill over there. That's cute. Okay, so what is this quest saying? After you find a suitable place for a base, build your basic work basic workshop. It will work wonders for your progress to have your own little workshop area close to where you live. Okay, so I just don't know if I want to commit to that one area with the workshop because there's one in the cabin. Um, on our way to this facility. I guess this facility can't be made into a workshop because we we can't there's no workshop in here. Um and this guy wants me to go um 
uncomplete <laughs> uncompleted <laughs> um, okay so yeah we've only found one workshop so far i don't know if i should venture further into this broken facility before i travel well since we're here i guess might as well uh, let's just eat something before we continue because there's probably more marauders over there um, drink beer yeah that's a great way to start the day Seafood. Okay. I like the music though with this game. The music's pretty good. <coughs> And I guess at least they, the music would change before you get attacked, so I guess you would you would know if something bad's gonna happen to you. But sometimes, you know, as soon as the music changes, like... Yeah. <laughs> you get attacked immediately, so that's... It didn't give you enough time to get prepared. Careful what you eat. Oh. This is one of those games where you can gain weight. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> I know it's not your main concern right now. Make sure you eat healthy. A lot of food you might find might be contaminated, but fortunate for you, fresh fruits and vegetables are quite abundant. All the heavy rain that fell, the climate changes we had after the mass in inundation flooded most of the landmass, phenomena that made my old father said Mother Nature herself tried to wash out Moore's plague, made all the remaining vegetable vegetation grow better than ever. The grass is green and tall as a horse. Trees are lush and fruits and vegetables are huge and tasty. <laughs> See, I mean, for a game that's all about veganism and all that, you know, I mean, you would think that there would not be much violence in this game, but there's a lot with the mutants and stuff. Yeah, I gotta be careful, there might be some bear traps here. But yeah, and then there's like a Cthulhu freaking um, storyline. It's like this game is something else. Marigold. Ooh, glass. Okay. Definitely gonna need that. Okay, another dead tree. Oh, there's another guy. I see you, motherfucker. Yeah. I am armed, motherfucker. Almost out of fucking uh, bullets now. So I gotta be careful. can only uh, chop down dead trees. Oh, it's funny how these um, marauders, they don't even loot any of these facilities. Oh, okay.
Oh, what is this? Oh, you can make them yourself. Okay, I see. Wow, you gotta make those after... When you're out of them. You need rose hips. Oh, okay. Th these actually requires those flowers and shit. Fuck. This could be helpful. Okay, that's part of the chemistry table. You can't, can't get them. Yeah, there's a note over there. Wait, what time is it? Why is it already... Oh, it's the pollution. Wait, what is this? Oh, there we go, cure. Yay, he has been cured. And then that's the only one that's infected that we have now. Right. See. So how do you how do you tame them? Oh you use the taming and then there's a taming one. Oh, here it is. Okay. But I just want to tame. I don't want to cure. How do you... This is confusing. Oh, he's infected and confused. So I guess we'll uh, we'll try and take care of him here. See what happens. Oh, there we go. Now he's tame. And then there's a wild, wild sheep. We have a wild sheep. Why does it still need the cure potion though? I don't want him cured, I just want him tamed. You know? I look into it and there's no possibility of getting any more tranquiline. Any more tranquilizers. The company is out of business, so we need to we need some other solution. You you would you think? Company's out of business. Um, I had the lab analyze a bit of the product, and I think the lab has come up with a recipe with something very similar, using plants that already grow in the area. It's a complicated formula, and it takes a lot of ingredients, so we tested it and it works on the local seagulls. You have to do the final testing and get dosage figured out, but it's supposed to work just like trancoline, so there's not too much risk of overdose. We have no antidote, but the trancoline antidote may work. I've included Scarlett's instruction on how to update your chem prep machine with the new recipe, and then all you need are the plants. There are five plants you need to make the animal tranquilizer. Amanitasia. Armillaria, dog rose, cannabis, oh, snake weed. I'll be coming in a, a month, so I'll be able to see the recipe in action when I get there. Good luck with the plant hunting. Okay. Why is it nighttime already? I only slept for 10 hours at night, and then... My lord, are you 
fucking kidding me? Let's try that again. Maybe I overslept. Oh no, what happened to my bed? Okay. Sleep in the lab today. See, I only slept for like 10 hours last time. Which is like, oh, it's not, it's 10 o'clock. So I can sleep for seven hours. Maybe I accidentally slept twice? No, I didn't. I don't think so. Another note. Two notes. Nothing in here. Dear sirs, I'm writing to you this letter today to offer what I can in support of your endeavor. When I heard about Andy Malika and its full plan to save every animal on earth from Dr. Moore's virus, I knew I had to do something to help. All my money doesn't buy much these days, so the only thing I can give of value is our family home, our Pashi. I've included a bill of sale and deed to our family's private line, land, our Pashi, located on the GPS coordinates XXXXX. But they can't, they can't just place any random coordinates over there. It is free of contamination, but the last caretaker left a few weeks ago and there is no one there to take care of it. There is still livestock on the island, but there is good grazing and fresh water. It is flat, open range, and free of danger. Our Pashi is a good place to relax or place of house animal, to, to house animals, and I'm sure you will find a good use for it. There's already a house and a barn on the island for you to use. The land is flat and good to build on. My land, my late husband's family has owned our Pashi for almost 100 years and I wanted to be sure it went to good hands. I know my husband would approve of my gift. Before his death, he made many donations to support wildlife and the environment and I can think of no better legacy than to see the family estate used for the betterment of all life on earth. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything you're doing, and I hope our Fashi will be helpful to your endeavor. Mr. Sia Popescu. I need to get to our Fashi. Like, Toronto. Dear Gregory, yes, by all means, come here. Scarlet will handle all the details since she runs the lab along with everything else. We're lucky to have her. You never know by looking at her, but she's <laughs> she's in, but she's infected like all the rest of the field biologists. You'll only get a couple of couple of feet of oh, she's infected. You'll only so you'll only get a couple of feet of lab bench and equivalent to several years. But we're doing amazing things here, and we can really use your expertise. Best regards, Sandia. That's Sandia. You know, the, these uh, pods um, actually makes me want to go play um, Satisfaction. Such a good game. Yeah, Satisfaction is so fucking addicting. And I remember playing it like that was when. Uh, the pandemic first hit us is when I started playing Satisfaction. Around that time, before the pandemic, I think that was pre-pandemic. Hi Patrick, I'm happy to report that, so that was like two years ago. Happy to report that Slice Land is clean. So I have options here, Slice Land or Pandilla Land or whatever that was. We cleared out the nasties and torched the fungus. Nothing bad is left, and we've been all over the island several times. Slice Land is ready for habit habitation. We hate to leave the place, and the weather's great, but there are wide open vistas, good grassland and water. It's nice and flat, perfect building site. We left the shed alone. We cleaned it up a bit, but didn't fix anything. It still lacks a door and windows, but 
It's quite livable in that warm climate. We're heading home and should be back by Wednesday, the 5th. Regards, Ari. Here's some photo, you can see how nice Slice Land is. <laughs> um, I'd rather have the island though. The island sounds more interesting. What's the name of the island? It was uh, Slice Land? Arpashi. Arpashi and Slice Land. All right, I think we've seen enough of this place. Just wanted to make sure I visited the uh, the three uh, uh, pods there, or whatever you call it, the little habitation um, space. Uh, yeah, we've seen everything that we need to see. Oh, can I? get any of these plants no. Alright, let's go. Nova is a small Mediterranean archipelago and new as San Marco Refuge. Its location was kept secret for years, but recently Morse servants somehow managed to locate it. So Morse was the one who traveled into the other um, dimension and brought Cthulhu into this world, I guess. Okay. Land base. Nova base. Corpse Harbor, that doesn't sound very promising. Can see it's then. Amber Hill. Oh, there you go. Slice Land Arpashi. And I want to go to. Oh, Slice Land actually also looks nice. And there's a boat. But I think I want to go to Arpashi. Wow, there's a lot of places. My god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 locations. Well, let's, Damba, Damba. Oh, that's cute too. There's like a little, uh, wow, you're in the middle of the, uh, like a small island. That's cute too, but I'm going to go to Ar Arpashi. Apache is a small island located somewhere in Eastern Europe, and just like Slice Land at Lyria, special location to provide a safe and friendly environment for base building, enrichment, and animal placement. It consists, consists of a large area of flat land bordered by hills and water. So there's also Illyria. Illyria is a small Mediterranean island and just like Slice and Arpashi, special location. Okay. Uh, I don't like this here. Uh, I don't like those domes and shit, so. Let's go to Arpashi. <laughs> it's a cute animation of a traveling. Uh, she's gonna crash that too because she crashed the uh, the ship, which is really stupid. Okay, this is cute. Oh, I have 20 plus. I didn't even realize it. It's a doggy. Hello. Oh, is it a wild doggy? Yeah, 
Is it a wild dog he had a... I don't know. So how come you, you can interact with this guy? So since you can't interact with this guy, I consider this guy as wild, I guess. So it's time for tranquilization. Oh, shit. It's gonna hurt, honey, but we get to tranquilize you, okay? So yeah, it was wild. <laughs> Dear God. Okay. I like how we're just dragging him. I guess maybe we should put them here. Is that how that works? Well, I'm not sure. I think it's just gonna wander around, yeah. So we'll put the cat in the house. Oh, I can't. It can only be outside, huh? Okay. Blocking the way. Where's the kitty? The kitty's gonna be hard to, uh. And the kitty doesn't. You don't get sex on the kitty. That kitty is gonna be hard to find. You're in here? What are you doing? Just don't poop inside the house, okay? Where's the, um, it must be in here, the uh, crafting station.
this? What is this? I don't see the crafting station though. How are we supposed to craft anything? Let's go. Let's go see it. Maybe it's in one of these uh, ruined uh, towers here. Which doesn't make any sense. You would think they would place it close to the uh, center of the map. Just gonna check how, how big this area is. Uh, there's some wild deers and. Wow, it is a pretty big area, like super big. You can build a lot of shit. Oh, that's cute. It's like a cute little peninsula. How can... What? Wait, what? Is there sharks in this game? I don't, I don't want to find out. Okay. So yeah, it's a pretty big map. All right, let's go find the um, the crafting station. I, I now how come this doesn't come with a crafting station? Probably here, I just didn't see it, huh? Okay, let's uh, let's go back in the house again. Okay. Okay. Um, you would think that it would be inside this house, but it is not here. How the fuck are you supposed to be crafting shit if you don't have a crafting station? Do I have to make it myself? Hold on, let's see. It's gotta be in here somewhere. I will work for food and shelter. What? T2 settlement man agreement? What? I didn't agree um, to do that, no. Okay, so there's no crafting station. This is interesting. So, you have crafting stations out there in the, um, like that beginning area, but then you get like these, um, special maps that doesn't have any crafting station. I, so I guess maybe you have to purchase them first.
basic workshop. That's what I need. So I need timber. So I need to make that myself. So they should just give it to you for free for these special maps. Okay. Well, I guess I'll leave you guys here for now. <laughs> what? The cat is moonwalking. What is this? Chunk cats, what are you doing? the wall wow that takes some skills oh my god <laughs> saved by the wall dear god okay and it's funny how you can't place these animals down like inside the house you have to place them outside and they're just gonna wander inside the house it doesn't make any sense oh it's a female okay. Okay, I'm gonna leave you guys here. And since you don't have to maintain any, uh, I don't have to give them anything to eat. Uh, yeah, they don't have any stats or anything. They just, they can take care of themselves. And we can't chop any woods here because the ve vegetation is so lush, so. All right. Makes me wonder if I should just work on that first area, you know, just clean it up. Uh, I think it's pretty much, you just need to get to the end of the map. Maybe, maybe we should just do that and then just use that first area instead of this island. Instead of this big open space here. So. Alright, I've been streaming for close to an hour, so I'm gonna stop right here. And when we come back, we'll we'll go back to the first map. Um, maybe uh, clear that area. Maybe uh, just maybe just use that for my base. You know, maybe this is like end game stuff. But then again, you know, once you start building. You just want to build in one spot. I mean, even though they have multiple places where you can build. So, I don't know. We'll see.